Hello, this is Jarrett. I'm playing Oxygen Not Included. This is my second episode of this series, playing this fully asteroid. So, my focus right now is on getting Atmos suits. But if I want Atmos suits, I need Thimble Reed. And in this particular world, I'm going to have to rely on Drekos. So, we're going to have to farm a few of those. So that is one thing that I'm going to be doing in the other world, Greasyel. I want to focus on getting a stable of hatches together because that's going to be my food. I'm essentially being able to cook, carve out, or cook some barbecue meat. So dupes are digging out this spot. And I'll put a few hatches here. And there's a lot more hatches in this world than I'm expecting in buried objects. So I'll probably get more than just one, whereas my world, or the world over here, only has one staple of hatches. All right, well, with that being the plan, we're putting an electrolyzer here just to up the amount of oxygen. Let's get at this. So here's my plan. I scouted out this area. I see some Dracos there. I essentially want to get the pips to plant a bunch of pinch of pepper plants close by. This is a food source for the Dracos. And I'll be able to create a stable such that they'll have a food source with, uh, that's essentially renewable. They'll produce eggs. I'll put some shearing machines in. And hopefully, if all goes well, we'll start to get some thimble reed. I might put uh, one or two staples in this zone. So if I'm going to do that, there is a lot of gas that's not breathable. There's chlorine, and we're going to want to pump in hydrogen. Because when these guys are exposed to hydrogen, their scales grow. So what I'm doing right now is I'm putting a filter in here and filtering for oxygen we don't have the research yet for a gas mask but that is currently being done by a scientist and once we have that we'll have gas masks at about this location for the dupes to be able to go in here and uh, do some construction while they can breathe it is time for another dupe meet zoo they like digging ranching supply they're also an animal lover get them to attend to the hatches once this stable is created. And this is definitely the most amount of dupes I've had at this early on in the game. So dividing them up between the two asteroids, hoping that's going to help. And really wondering if I get this many dupes, it's going to make things advance quite a bit. As long as I feed them and provide them with oxygen, all should uh, be great. Got a new crafting station now that we have the research for gas masks. Gonna get a few of those created. And we'll install the actual gas masks down here. We have a stable over here in this world. Two hatches are in there, feeding them some sandstone, but I expect I'm gonna have more hatches soon enough. So now we have some gas masks for the dupes to use in this zone. So they can go in here where there's chlorine and eventually going to be hydrogen and other gases. I'm digging a spot down here. I want to get access to conveyor loader at some point so I can send materials to the other dupes. A little bit of food over here that might be helpful because the amount of uh, calories is getting low. Digging out some food sources that are available. Also pushing some food out with the microbe musher. Let's check on the other asteroid. Already seven critters here. So I actually have to build my second ranch. So that is a really good sign. Because the more hatches I have, eventually the more meat I'm going to get. Cut through the first bleach stone. So I have a storage bin over here in liquid where I'm going to store all the bleach stone at high priority. Now I've got a second stable for hatches. Just need to find more hatches to actually put in there. There should be lots around with all these buried objects. This is the 12th dupe meat deliver. They like supplying, tidying, and digging. We'll join the base over here on this new asteroid. Five dupes over here. I believe we've got uh, seven over on this asteroid for the time being. These dupes are concerned a little bit of uh, hot temperature leaking into the base. So they're adding some insulation to give them some temperature protection. Getting close to some Drekos. 
going to have them live in this area because there's lots of food for them. But they're going to produce eggs and I'll take those eggs to another location. Actually, you know what the location I'm going to start with? That's right here. So I'm going to tell the dupes to add the Drecklet eggs. Still applying the little by effect on all my eggs just to make sure I get a bunch of these pips born. That's going to be a good meat source. Eventually I want to put one of these uh, incubators over on the other base where I can be attending to the hatch eggs. Insulation is done here. Looks like good job dupes. They're now over this area. This is a much bigger area that they have to do. I'll even have to build a ladder to fully complete this, but this is going to give temperature protection from over here. And if that wasn't bad enough, I found another spot over here. We're just missing the abyss light in this world. Not fun, but I'll get to that soon. Just completed the research for Atmo suits. We don't have anything to build it out of, but that's why we're over here getting access to these critters. This area down here is a little difficult to work with, with the lack of oxygen. That's why I put some algae down here, just to increase the oxygen while this project is being completed. Dupes over here have a great haul to be able to enjoy when they're finding some food that they're digging out in the world. So they're not actually producing any more any food at the moment, but there's lots of opportunity to find both food and hatches. So let's get digging, but uh, maybe a little bit of insulation project first. First Dreklet egg has its lullaby effect added to it. It is time for yet another dupe meat pow. They like tidying, suit wearing, and rocketry. Let's get them on our base. Don't want hatch eggs to accumulate in these rooms, so getting dupes to drop it here and avoiding anyone have access in this room. Just before I seal this area up and insulate it, decided, ah, why not steal some lead? Put it on this side so we'll have access to it later on. So we've got a lot of stables around. In fact, we're going to get more stables. Another one is set up over here, so I want to retool one of my dupes so that they have the critter ranching skill. I think I'm going to change out hammer. Let's send you in there, hammer. Last piece of insulation is being installed over here. It's going to stop the base from getting too warm. Adding that over here again, stealing a little bit of uh, lead. Actually, maybe I'll try to. I don't know if I can grab that one or not, but uh, I'll see. Maybe I have to destroy a tile. But anyways, uh, I want to put that in for the same reason. And then once all this insulation is done, we can go back to our original project which is populating hatches over here. Time for yet another dupe. This is Sunshine. They like supplying ranching, but they're also an early bird, so I'll put them in the appropriate schedule. Insulation is completed and protecting ourselves from the warm temperatures. A little bit of temperature bleeding happened, but uh, that insulation is going to slow that down greatly. Now we can just get at all these berry objects and hopefully uncover some hatches. Dupes are bringing up a hydrogen line. This hydrogen is necessary for these guys to reproduce their scales. So we'll want to be able to have them in here. Uh, put them through the shearing station, but actually have them go through that multiple times. So we get lots of fiber read. First pieces of barbecue meat is about to be made. I'm going to go to the consumables and tell the dupes not to eat meat. Wait for barbecue meat. Because that has a little bit more calories and better tasting. Just putting the finishing touches on another incubator. This is going to be processing all the eggs that are over on these guys. Oh, these guys are cramped. Let's finish up in here so I can get the dupes jumping eggs here quick. We have electrolyzer running. It's going to be providing oxygen, but also hydrogen, which is something that's going to accumulate up here and I can use for power generation 
later on so the dupes don't have to be on the manual generator so much. First hatch egg on this world is just about to be done, which is awesome. So I'm going to get this dupe to do all the eggs that are here before they leave. So just letting this dupe out after they process as many eggs as they could. So the dupe that's over on this uh, world that's processing eggs is a slightly different schedule than the dupe that's over here. But I, I tried for a little bit of processing eggs on both asteroids at the same time. My brain does not work that well, so I'm not going to do that situation. But I don't think it's necessary, especially now that I've got these eggs. Every egg that I incubate over here represents twice the amount of meat, so I might start to concentrate a little bit more on there. But I do want uh, the Draco eggs to be processed. Still waiting for a little bit more construction here. So bringing in hydrogen, that's going to be helpful because these guys like hydrogen for growing their skins. But we want more and more. Oh, I can wrangle. Oh, you're already going to be wrangled. Let me just pop your priority. So these guys are going to give me two things. Fiber reed, but also meat when I start to have an excessive amount of them. Worrying about the heat that this thing's given off, so I think we should enclose this. Doesn't need to be fully enclosed like the steam. But I might want to wait for it to actually cool off before I actually send the dupes in there. What I might do is build walls around here and dig this out so this liquid falls on top of it. Yet another dupe. This dupe's called Fly. They're interested in supplying, operating, and rocketry. Get them to join the base. Now, I officially have more dupes on this smaller asteroid than I do in the home asteroid, which is nuts. So this guy here is just processing some eggs. I'll let them go for the day. But this is a, this is the most amount of dupes I've ever had this early on. We're only on cycle 33 and I've got 15 dupes. I'm gonna go up to 20, so I've got five more to go. That means I have to really search for food early on. So we have to pack in the hatches. We've got to get uh, barbecue production on this side. And because I'm probably going to get more mo uh, more food from the uh, hatches over here, I'll have to set up teleportation equipment to send some of that cooked barbecue meat over to the other world. But yeah, I'm nervous. This is the first time in this kind of phase, but um, we'll see how this goes. If it does work out, as I mentioned before, it does mean that I get to advance a lot quicker, and this will kind of be a new gameplay for me going forward. Anyways, continue on dupes, and uh, I will look after your food production. Oxygen production on this side. We've got a second electrolyzer over here that's helping get the uh, oxygen a little bit thicker. Fire pole is in, and we even have a nature reserve for the dupes to use whenever they're going to summon the amenities at the end of the cycle. Dupes are starting on a power plant over here. Smart idea, because we don't want to have the dupes on the manual generator, especially since we've got two electrolyzers, and I'm using incubator every now and then. So I see some shaved Dracos. They have a little bit of hydrogen to try to regenerate, but uh, that means that we have reed fiber on the base, which is really nice. Food is getting critical, telling the dupes to start to search for all pieces of muckroot that might be lying around, because we're gonna need it. Here's another electrolyzer on this base. Bring in a pipe and power over here because eventually I'm going to want to pump to pump water from this cache. Time to move out, dupes. We'll finish the rest of this later. Move, 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 move out of there. Don't wipe your eyes. Move. Now the dupes are running out of food. Now I could have grown food, except for the fact that I was still kind of thinking about the carnivore achievement. I don't think I'm ne gonna necessarily go for every single achievement in this game, but I wanna set it up so that if I decide later that I still have the option, which means I've gotta do the carnivore, like locavore, and super sustainable achievements. 
if it wasn't obvious already by the fact that I had the incubator and haven't been grown anything. Pow, do I not have a... Oh, we need more beds. Kai and Kai. So we have a new electrical circuit over here. Heavy watt wire going around the power plant. And just regular watt or regular wire going everywhere else. Just double check. That is a power plant. Yeah. Things are getting desperate on this base, so I'm going to actually get one of the dupes to teleport to the other world where food production is a little bit better. So things are starting to heat up for me a little bit. One solution to this food situation is to actually get scientists to enable the teleportation equipment so I can send some food over to the other world. There isn't a lot of food here at the moment, but I am able to create meat. And at least I have the ability to create uh, food in the micro musher on this world. So we've got a micro musher in this world now. Got access to water. Maybe I'll even have a storage bin for dirt next to it. So that's going to help a little bit. Water is very low, so I'm going to have to look for another source for that pretty soon. Maybe over here. Against my better judgment, I supped in another dupe. I'm going to keep doing that till I get to 20 for the challenge. But uh, here's nails. They're interested in building and researching. But I put them in this world because there's a lot more calories, 54,000. And that's largely due to the excellent fruit that was dug out here. But uh, barbecue meat is starting to come into play as well. We've got a hatch and a directlet. Can wrangle both of them so that they can get to their respective stables. Just had a thought about this whole dilemma I have with not a lot of food in this space. The micro musher is helping a little bit, but uh, if I wasn't going to go for the carnivore achievement, actually no, actually it's not the carnivore achievement that's the problem. But let's actually look. It's a locavore. Achievement. That's a problem. Look at my uh, colony summary so far. Ah, da, da, da. So, assuming I want to get at least a locavore and carnivore achievement, that means I can't grow anything in planter boxes. But once the locavore achievement is done, I can start growing food, which changes things quite a bit. Now, if I wasn't going for these achievements at all, uh, I, w I should have been growing plants to begin with. We are eighty thousand calories towards that so getting pretty close once I get that, I'm going to keep a close eye on that because once I have the locavore achievement I'm going to start growing some food until the this system here the incubator and the hatches ranch uh, ramp up to produce barbecue meat oh you have to be wrangled sending brains over to the other world i told them there's so much food over there to enjoy uh no this is uh this is so that they can access or activate the teleportation equipment that's over there maybe i'll put a ladder here for future dupes crossing this zone but i need to click the button for brains they're not smart enough to do it for themselves that's going to send them over there, and their mission is just to do two things. Activate the two teleportation equipment. I'm not sure if I'm able to... No, I'm not uh, able to send them back, so they're going to have to stick around for a bit. And you need to get back to processing these eggs. And the teleportation equipment over here is being activated so I can send stuff back to the other world. It's mostly the other machine that I want to do. But I'll get science, or brains rather to do both of them. And just continue the process of processing the hatch eggs. Close to having this thing over pressure. Just going to seal the deal by dumping this little salt water that's sitting on top of it. So teleportation equipment is now operational. I've got 64,000 calories here. That's pretty good. We can spare some from this world. Let's go to, actually let's click over here. Let's, uh, let's send them mush fry. 
So edible mush fry is being sent over to the other world so that those dupes can survive. Still uncovering some hatches, so good time to find them at night. I have uh, five of seven, so I'm aiming for... Well, actually, uh, yeah, let, let's, let's put seven in each of these. So we just need two more. One more, actually, of the one that's on the way. Bit of a desperate move, but we're out of uh, water, so building some tiles right here so I can raise that. And then I'm going to build another pump down here. Water is flowing again, though it's not going to be very long. So hopefully these dupes here will be done construction. Maybe I should give them a ladder for them to be able to cross. Just decided might as well give the uh, dupes that are doing critter ranching some automated lights. Over on the world over here, doing a similar thing with automated lights in this stable. I have several hatchlings, and I don't have any plans to put them in the stables. So that means I can use them for meat. We have 10,000 calories. Let's go over to uh, this world. I don't think the dupes have brought anything over. So I might need to up the priority of this. But, uh, yeah, we're looking much better food-wise than we were just a few cycles ago. New pump has come online. Cannot be soon enough. The other one is completely gone. But we're going to have to already work on the next one. Because we just have very small caches of water to deal with. I feel like I'm going to have to be sending some from the other world at some point here. So these dupes now have 21,000 calories, more than they've had before, so I figured we'll build a fridge and a place to cook food. It is time for yet another dupe, calling this one Bump. Interest, they're interested in building and tidying. So I have 17 dupes right now between these two asteroids. I, I've played long-term games into like 500 cycles with never even having this many dupes so this is going to be very interesting anyways at Mosu docks have been built and oxygen is starting to fill uh those up well i think we're approaching cycle 40 and that's going to be enough for today let's just have a look at this overall base several uh stables around use this room quite a bit Place to produce food. I'm very much wanting to do this. And the reason that uh, I was down here with these guys, actually building a second one that's not operational yet, but uh, working with these guys so I can get fiber read. I've got eight pieces so far, and that's going to be growing. Uh, let's see what else. A little bit of exploring around here to get food. So not, not uh, too bad in this world, but... Over in this world, things were a mess. For a short period of time, I actually got out of this situation. 20,000 calories. Now this is thanks to the teleportation equipment and sending material, uh, this mush rice specifically, over. Actually, now let's tell the dupes. I want you to put... Let's just put everything in there, right? Okay, so that is the food storage. And, and we can even produce our own food. So we're in a much better situation i was a bit worried i wasn't sure what was going to happen uh for a bit i'm not sure whether we'll have to plant anything in farmer boxes once the locavore achievement is done because we've got a lot of these hatches we'll see what happens I'm, i probably will want to plant a few uh just before i leave though where are we on the locavore achievements we we're eighty thousand calories before three six about forty thousand okay ha very close very very close and with uh 17 <laughs> tubes it's probably not going to take a long for that to be done lots to be done uh i think we're past the worst of it i i mean only can be certain when the uh, next episode is out but i think we're going to be advancing quite a bit and i have my exosuits already lined up just need a little bit of metal blast is at it right now to be able to actually create the exosuit forge 
and I'm going to go out and explore the rest of the world and do some really cool stuff. All right, well, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I will see you in the next episode where I'll continue on and get up to 20 dupes and see what we can get up to. Till then.